peace infinite waters diving deep once again beautiful deep divers we are out here in nature baby another beautiful day in jurassic park did you feel that i'm sending you tons of super duper whooper oopa amazing energy take that take that take that now deep divers are you someone who never feels like they're quite good enough? You kind of put your head down because you're like, who am I to be great? Because you were told you just have to be humble and you translated that to mean that you're not good enough. Who am I to be great? Well, deep divers, it is all about being humble, but also about about being confident too and in this video we are going to talk about how to become how to become humbly confident let's just whoo breathing in that good ass prana baby deep divers how to grow humble confidence how to become humbly confident we got a whole lot to talk about. Now, right now, I see a lot of people stepping into their true power. Right now, I see a lot of people who aren't so afraid of their greatness. They are coming to love their body, their mind and their soul, and that's amazing. However, there are still a lot of people, there are still a lot of people who are like, who am I to be great? So after this video, you are going to have so much humble confidence. It's going to be amazing. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? Now, deep divers, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Become humbly confident. So I coined that term, humble confidence. And that means that be humble. That's right. At the same time, you better be confident too. And when you fuse humbleness with confidence, oh, you're a force to be reckoned with. Someone once asked Bruce Lee, are you good at martial arts? Bruce Lee replied, if I tell you I'm good, you're going to say I'm boasting, I'm bragging, I'm being arrogant. If I tell you I'm no good, you know I'm lying. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Now, Bruce Lee is a Don, right? <laughs> I love to see a lot of people share their transformations on YouTube, on Instagram and deep divers. Have you ever seen someone's profile and think, oh, ladies, who does she think she is flaunting her body like that? Huh? Like, who does she think she is, Ralph? <laughs> have you ever done that, ladies? I know you have. <laughs> However, what if I told you she went through a massive transformation? She lost a lot of weight. Now she is proud about her body. She is proud of her body. She loves herself. And that's what I call humble confidence. To you, it may seem like she's showing off. It may seem like she's just attention seeking. But for her, it's about her saying to the universe that actually I've come through this massive transformation. And now I'm so proud of my body. I love it so much right humble confidence deep divers first and foremost i'm here to tell you if you are around people who don't want to see you be great because they're afraid run what inspired me along my early journey wasn't people who were like i'm i'm no good i'm i'm nobody i'm insignificant no 
The people who inspired me and I would not be where I am today were the people who were like, I am amazing. I am great. I am worthy. At the same time, when I met these people, they were extremely humble. And this is what we call humble confidence. I have a lot of humble confidence. <laughs> a lot of people say, Ralph, why do you only do videos in one take? I say it's because I've been making videos for a while now. You deep divers should have a little knowledge about who Ralph Smart is. Like, I'm very laid back, but I'm teaching you to accept yourself. I'm teaching you to love yourself. I'm teaching you that it's okay to make a mistake on camera. That's why I only make videos in one take. Like, whatever comes out, comes out. Bananas and strawberries. Yes. <laughs> How did I grow my humble confidence? I learned this. All birds have to drink water, okay? It doesn't matter if they're on the ground, if they come on the ground, or if they're way high up. At some point, they're gonna have to come back down and drink water. So I've learned over time that don't let success, never let success go to your head. And that's what keeps me humble. When I say a YouTube Gold Award, it's to inspire the next generation to say, actually, you don't have to sell your soul. You don't have to promote violence, sex, drugs, and rock and roll to make it. You can be yourself authentically. And at the same time, you can manifest, right? At the same time, I'm humble because I know where I came from. I'm humble because I'm dealing with real life situations. People are messaging me every single day, thousands of messages telling me what is going on in their life. They have seen me as someone they can trust. You can also trust the cat down the road. I'm humbled by that because I know I'm impacting people in a very positive way. At the same time, I always realize that a bird, no matter how high it is, has to come down to drink some water. So that keeps me humble. At the same time, I'm still gonna be a bird. I'm still gonna fly high. I'm still gonna aim for the stars. And that's the confidence, right? How to become humbly confident. Deep divers, what's helped me along my journey is this. Every single day, I'm being in my power. I'm being silently in my power. You see, sometimes humble confidence is not just about saying how good you are at something. It's about showing people the results. Make people wonder and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's what we call humble confidence. When you allow the results to speak for you. You allow your transformations to speak for you. You allow the person you are becoming to speak for you. That is how to become humbly confident. It's not just about saying how good you are. It's about showing people the results of your transformation. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. How to become humbly confident. You see, every single day, as soon as I wake up, I realize this. I can go on my phone, look at the news feed. Oh my gosh, look at that person and that person. That will take away your confidence. When I look at my news feed, I'm like, oh, I'm happy for that person. That's great for them because I'm so content with who I am, their success does not diminish my own. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. That's how to grow humbly confident. You got to become comfortable in your own skin. You got to start embracing yourself to say, actually, I'm one of a kind. Actually, I'm one in a million. And I know this, I know my power. So when I say, be silently in your power, that's what I'm 
practicing every single day. I know the power I have, Ralph Smart has. Why? Because I'm impacting millions of people. That's the confidence. The humility comes when I'm still in awe of that to say, wow, this is amazing. Because deep divers, we are all collectively together making the world a better place. How to become humbly confident. I'm in Whole Foods one time, deep divers. I meet someone who watches my videos and they're like, we get talking. And he says something which really stuck with me. He's like, Ralph, if I'm not full of myself, who else am I going to be full of? Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. And I'm like, that's amazing, right? We have to become full of ourselves. That's how to become humbly confident. There's a difference between confidence and arrogance. Arrogance is associated with the ego. Confidence is when you now believe in yourself. When you now believe in your abilities. So it's time, deep divers, to stop feeling like you're not good enough. I'm here to tell you, you are more than good enough. It's unbelievable. Even the cat down the road knows that. It's time to step into your true power. It's time to start claiming your greatness. Deep divers, I want you to say this right now. I, I am, am amazing. You just fell on your ass right now. Don't worry about it. Happens to me all the time, right? I am amazing. Once you can really become full of yourself and fill your own cup, that's what's helped me to grow humbly confident. Because if you aren't full of yourself, who else are you supposed to be full of? You have to come to love yourself. You have to come to accept yourself. You have to come to believe in your abilities. The reason why I'm humble is because I know what other people are going through. The reason why I'm humble is because I realize this is all a gift. The reason why I'm confident is because I know how to use this gift. The reason why I'm confident is because we are living in a flash of light. You didn't come here to play small, just like the great poet Rumi said. You came here to become your greatest version. So that's why every single day, I got a natural proclivity to believe in my abilities. I've been doing this a long time. It's about time I believe in myself, not the world out there. No, I've got to believe in me. Just like that John Lennon song, right? I believe in me. Yes. <laughs> right. How to become humbly confident. Seven day vegan challenge. Seven day vegan challenge. Who cares what other people think of your Instagram posts? If they can't deal with it, so be it. If you are showing ladies and fellas your massive body transformations because you've been eating a plant-based diet, now you're in shape and you want to show that to the world to encourage the world, that is truly amazing. And that's how to become humbly confident. There are always going to be people who judge you, who can't stand your shine. But that's vampires, right? They can't stand the sunlight. Mm, what? Slow motion this side. Mm. You still got to do it though. You have to show your body transformations. You've got to show the world what this vegan diet has done for you. You've got to proclaim it to the world. That's why I always say seven day vegan challenge. That's why I always say I've been a vegan for over 13 years. I'm humble because I'm not eating animals. At the same time, I'm confident because I know what a plant-based diet can do for the body. It can heal the body. It can help the body. It can help us live longer. How to become humbly confident. It's time to start trusting in your abilities. You see, trusting is linked to knowing. So once we can move from believing in our abilities 
to actually trusting in our abilities, great things happen. Every single day, I trust myself. Every single day, I see, gosh, I've come so far and I'm still here. That's what makes me trust myself. So if you can learn how to trust in your abilities, it's just like Michael Jordan or Roger Federer in tennis. He can trust himself because he can see his whole progression and his whole improvement in the tennis game to winning championships. So that's how to be humbly confident. At the same time, when you receive a reward, when you receive an award, you're like, okay, cool. You weren't doing it for the awards. You were doing it to test your greatness. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> How to become humbly confident. Work on your craft. 10,000 hours is needed to become a master in your craft. Have you put in those 10,000 hours? So I became humbly confident in, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby, because I sincerely love what I'm doing. I love impacting people in a positive way. I love inspiring people in a positive way. I love to receive messages. Ralph, thank you so much. Your videos have helped me change my entire life. This is what I love to see. I'm working though, every single day. I'm practicing every single day. So I can be humble at the same time. I can be confident because I know my skill set. Get good at something and then keep quiet. A wise man once said nothing. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Let's do some Kung Fu, right? It's just like in those Kung Fu movies. Who was the best one? The silent master. That was the one to watch out for because that one would kick your ass, right? It would kick your butt because there is power in silence. And that's how to be humbly confident. He would whoop your ass and then just do this. Bye, right? You wouldn't brag afterwards. You just get an ass whooping. That's it, right? <laughs> how to become humbly confident. Work on yourself, work on your dreams, work on your visions every single day. And then realize this, deep divers, you've got to be proud of how far you've come. Who am I to be great, Ralph? No. Who are you not to be great? You are somebody, you are somebody truly amazing. You deserve everything. And that's how you got to see yourself. And that's how to become humbly confident. What helped me to grow this humble confidence? The type of work I'm doing. A counselor, a psychologist. I've worked with people with ADHD, autism. I get humble that way. I've worked in a hospital. I've seen people who are in a less fortunate position than myself. I remember seeing someone in a coma and thinking, gosh, what am I complaining about? So I was confident at the same time that humbled me. So we become humbly confident by getting new life experiences. Every single day I'm becoming humbly confident because I am knowing thyself. I'm studying myself, right? I'm also studying out there as well. And we become humbly confident when we study the lives of others, but more so when we study the lives of ourselves. Can you remember deep divers when you were going through a rough time, a rough patch, and you're looking a bit shaky, baby? It was hard for you to brag right now because once again, a bird, no matter how high a bird flies, it has to come down to drink some water. So every single day, you got to realize that you too may need someone. You too may need help. Okay, and that's how to become humbly confident. Realize this realize deep divers realize this today no one is an island and we all need each other however it's time for you to start embracing your greatness it's time for you to start embracing your greatness it's time for you to start accepting that you came here to be great and nothing less than that and once that happens deep divers well you just say Feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers. I'm sending you amazing energy. We're just 
Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I want one, Ralph. Shout out to everybody who's been getting the amazing, amazing, good ass prana shirts. RalphSmart.com slash close. Get the new book on Amazon, Feel Alive by Ralph Smart. Giving a few away only on Instagram at Infinite Waters. Deep divers, have a beautiful day. Infinite Waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You, I am the greatest. Yes, you are. Say it loud. Louder. That's better. <laughs> <laughs>